All right, well done, 188 students. Um, at this time, I hope your review is going well, um, that you're ready for the test that's going to happen tomorrow. Um, and do you get all your college algebra back? But uh, you probably noticed that uh, this afternoon, I opened up our first round of uh, Canvas lesson modules uh, for chapter one and chapter two. And uh, I just wanted to give you a quick heads up on what's going on uh, because we're getting ready to start our trig phase of our course uh, and officially get the uh, Math 188 material uh, started with. Uh, so what I'd like to do is in this video, just walk you through a typical course module uh, that way you can kind of get again the lay of the land and how this is going to work throughout the semester. All right, so without any further ado, let me go ahead and share my screen. And what you're currently looking at is our homepage, right? And if you go over to the modules, all right, what you'll see, there's the getting started module, right? The practice review, and then there's your section one, one, section one, two, section one, three, all the way up to 2.5 at the moment, more later, but that should be enough. And as you'll notice, every module has the following layout. Uh, there's an overview, there's you know a heading about what we're talking about. So 1.1 is about angle basics. Uh, there's an overview page. There's a couple, in this case, three pages of videos to watch. There's a discussion board for you to participate in if needed. There's a page for you to upload your guided notes for a, a grade. And then there's a page where you can upload the uh, section quiz slash homework uh, for you to attempt to make sure you've got it. So, you know, if you take a look at 1.2, it has the same rhythm, right? Uh, a heading about what we're talking about, an overview. In this case, again, three pages of videos, a discussion board, a page to upload your guided notes, and then end it with some quiz and some homework. So that is basically the typical layout as you see. Some of them, this 1.3 has four pages of videos. 1.4 also has four pages of video. So kind of depending on the content, uh, that's how we go. So when you're ready to start a, a section, and we're going to start 1.1 because it's due uh, Friday night, uh, click on the overview page, and here's what you'll see. Uh, at the top is you're going to see the list of basically learning objectives. So in this case, there's six of them. Uh, in this uh, module, we're going to learn about and define angles. Uh, we're going to define many different types of angles, learn how we measure angles, learn what it means to be in standard position, yada, yada, yada. All right. So at the end of all this, you should have a pretty decent understanding of all those definitions and what they mean. So what you're going to do next is you're going to upload the notes. Again, uh, they're usually a PDF file, and you'll notice that in this, uh, I don't know why it's telling me that. Don't show this again. All right. You'll notice that what I'm doing is going through all those definitions, right? So there's terminology, ways to measure an angle, right? Uh, lots of definitions and different types of angles, right? And then we kind of play around with those, putting them in standard position, what it means to be complement, what it means to be supplement. So I'm basically going to teach you all that. So you don't need to do any of that. All you need to do your next step. Oh, by the way, if you can print them out so you can just write on them. Um, some of you actually have the technology where you have an iPad and you can just bring up the file and watch the you know video and fill them out with your, uh, your stylus pen or whatever the case might be. Uh, and then some of you, unfortunately, if you don't have any of that technology, I'm going to ask you to take out a piece of loose leaf sheet of paper, right? And if you would, please um, uh, map out, uh, rewrite what you see in the notes there, and then just fill them in as you go, all right? So whatever it takes to get your notes done. So once you've got them printed or written out or on, downloaded to your iPad or whatever technology you have, now you just start watching videos. So they're all YouTube videos. Uh, again, if the, uh, um, I think I told you in an earlier video during the Getting Started module, if the, uh, the the resolution doesn't look good all you got to do is uh change the resolution to make it sharper everything is hd but there i am basically going through the notes so all you got to do is listen and copy right write down what i'm saying or you know listen to what i'm saying and you just basically do that and i'm i'm essentially filling in all those items in your notes so there i am just again we're talking about definitions we're using the definitions all right. Um, and then I um, I actually didn't make this video. I uh, it's just about using your calculator for degrees, minutes and seconds and how to do that. So there's basically the videos. There's your discussion board. 
use it for the following reasons. Number one, if you think there's something that needs some uh, some more clarification from the videos you watched or you found a mistake, uh, please list it in the discussion board. Uh, I'll either talk about it on the discussion board or bring it up in class when we have discussions. If there's something from the quiz and the homework section that you want to show everybody, because uh, there is no answer key provided, so you guys are going to have to work for that. Uh, post your work, show us your work, and we'll do some peer editing like we'll do in class. So there's your discussion board. The next page is a page where you can actually upload the notes. So after you've done it, you're going to snap pictures of it. Um, again, ping JPEGs or PDF files. I do prefer PDF files. And uh, you basically have, it should say three attempts. I'll have to go back through that. But each, uh, you should have three attempts to get it done because I want to make sure they're right. Um, as you'll see in a video coming soon about erping, the notes are a one-on-one -on -one communication between you and I. I am telling you what I think is important. I am showing you how to show your work. So you, you know, you really need to make sure your notes are in order um, and correct so that you can do the quizzes and the homework and future tests. Uh, so I'm telling you what to do. So get those picture snaps, start assignment, upload them. I'll grade them, give you feedback. If you do everything perfect, you'll get a five. Uh, if you're, they're out of order or something's missing, uh, you missed a part, page is missing, you know, I take points away and I'll tell you why. And then you'll have a chance to, to make it better. Uh, you have three attempts to get it right uh, before the due date. Um, and then after that, there's the uh, section 1.1 quiz and homework. Um, so uh, if you upload this, um, what it is, it's usually a two or a three page uh, paper, you know, I, I, it was just a bunch of problems. So again, if you understand what was in your notes, you're going to understand how to do these problems here. And as I previously mentioned, uh, there is no answer key. Uh, what you, we are going to do in class is we're going to have a nice, I hope, robust conversation. You're going to come to class with this ready to go. Uh, maybe they're not all done, but you've at least tried everything, kind of like a huge think pair share. You're going to talk about it with your group. You're going to clarify the problems. And then I'm going to highlight if there seems to be class wise uh, one particular problem in the homework that got everybody. I will definitely talk about it. That'll be my mini lecture. And then we'll do, uh, do class activities. So please come to class prepared. All right. With your section quiz and homework. Uh, give me your best. Give us your best shot. Um, and then, like I said, if you go back, um, if you have questions prior to the first class meeting, you can post them in the previous uh uh, page in the Canvas discussion board, right? That's a good place to go do that. Uh, post your work, show us your work. And then I also promise that um, if we do, if everybody comes to class prepared, everybody's ready to talk about this, everybody's engaged, um, I will post the answer key, all right? So it's something you have to earn as a class, all right? So make sure you come prepared. Uh, last but not least, what I suggest you do before you move on to the next module is you might want to go to that first page again and just review the lesson objectives, right? So after you've done all that, you know, are you clear about what an angle is and how it's defined? Do you, are you, you know, can you recall the many different types of angles? Do you know how we measure the angles? Do you know what it means to be in standard position? Do you know what it means to be a complement, a supplement, a coterminal quadrilateral angle? And if you don't, you better reference your notes because the answers are probably there or rewatch the videos, okay? So that walks you through a typical course module for our class, right? Um, so after your test tomorrow on Thursday, uh, the next order of business is to start getting busy and getting to work, okay? Uh, again, uh, there's usually something due every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night. So the way I'm looking at this, by the time we meet next Tuesday, 1.1 and 1.2 should be done and completed. And that's what we're gonna have a conversation about um, on Tuesday, along with your, uh, your with your test that you're gonna get back as well, All right? So lots of things to do. Make sure you're engaged, make sure you're working on math every day. And I will talk to you guys later, All right? Bye-bye.